This is a video I've been meaning to put some time aside and do for you. The homeowners, the DIY guys, and even the homeowners that are shopping for a drainage system, what to ask for, what to tell your contractor you want. Actually, you're the customer. They're not willing to do it. Hire somebody else. You do want a geotextile non-woven fabric. You don't want to build a system without it. Matter of fact, you, all the work that goes into building a system and to miss that one step, now you just gave your system an expiration date and it's really unfortunate. So we, we do a lot of commercial work as well. And whatever the engineers spec in is what we we use. When we design our own systems, we have our couple go-tos that we really love. Now, the first one, this is this is our fastest. It's a four ounce. Love it for our open French drains. When we have a lot of surface water and we want to just turn our French drain into one long channel drain. This is what we use. Well, I have the hose turned up all the way. You can see it takes... Trying to show you how fast it'll take the water in. I have a pretty good stream. I have great water pressure, so... All right, so let's let's just fill this bucket real quick, and and then we'll move on to the eight ounce fabric. So this fabric I love for surface water, and it's going to protect the drainage systems that I build for my clients. It's going to prevent the gravel from migrating into the subsoil and the subsoil from migrating into the gravel, that's where they plug. The pipe don't plug, that's where they plug. That's why you want to use this. So that was the four ounce. This eight ounce, this will slow it down a little bit. All right. You can see how heavy that is. Always use this for your retaining walls. When you're using boulders and big slab rock and things like that, you don't want to use no lightweight. You want to you want to definitely use this. Okay, so here's eight ounce. Let's show you the difference. So when I move the hose away, you can see it takes that that hesitation that just it filtrates all the water. Well, this is going to last and last and last. This will last decades. That's what's amazing about this. But I wouldn't recommend this for open French drains. Open French drains, you're moving sheet water. Sheet water is when you have it just coming off a carport or coming off of a concrete parking lot or concrete driveway. Sheet water is some serious stuff. You can't screw around with it. So we use the one that, that bucket's already. So you can see, here we are. We got a five gallon pill. And that's with me taking the hose off of it numerous times just to show you. So now you you see the two fabrics that that I love, the four ounce and the eight ounce. You've seen their performance. They both perform well. So why there's guys out there giving geotextile, non-woven drainage fabric a bad rap, I can tell you why. There's more profit. It fattens their bottom line when they don't have to pay for this. And it's very time consuming to install this correctly. And now I'm gonna go over that. That's, that's honestly, this is the most important part 
if you're a contractor and you just really want to know the truth about drainage fabrics, non non-woven, geotextile non-woven drainage fabrics. This is where everyone if they if they truly feel it doesn't work, this is where they this is where they uh, basically incorrectly installed it and seen poor performance in it and from that point on felt that that it was bad to put geotextile non-woven filter fabric so that's how fast we fill a five gallon pail what is that rated that's rated 140 gallons per minute through a square foot that's what four ounces rated and the eight ounces rated 90 gallons per minute through a square foot so you got the guys that really know the truth they just don't want to spend the money or the time to use it and they're out there. I see them. Here's the eight ounce again. Okay, so now the honest guys, the guys that honestly have a bad experience. Decades ago, I'm speaking from experience. Decades ago, I didn't realize the importance of trimming this to fit and doing a real nice stitch, taking the time to do a real nice um, stapling uh, and just a couple inch overlap so we would go ahead and put in the filter filter fabric the geotextile non-woven filter fabric we put our stone and pipe in and then whatever we had left over on that on the width of that roll we would just fold we just fold it and put it in the trench and cover it with dirt that's where the bad experience comes in you don't realize, well, you've seen how the the eight ounce went quite a bit slower. So can you imagine if you overlapped, did a heavy overlap of the eight ounce? It's not going to move water very quick at all. And if, you're, if you need to build a screaming system for surface water, my systems do both. They take care of surface water with no inlet basins. You know I preach against no inlet basins because they let in organic materials that become dirt. It doesn't matter if it's pine needles, leaves, bark, dust, grass blades. It all breaks down and becomes organic material. Your, your pipe ends up half full of, of topsoil. You know, the end, the end of that system, that's what happens. That's what does it in. And when I pull these failed systems out, this is uh, the 8-ounce, by the way. There's a full bucket again. So you got the guys that don't want to pay for the filter fabric. They don't want to take the time to install it correctly. And then you probably got a few honest guys out there that are saying, yeah, it don't work because they didn't trim it. Now, the manufacturer says to overlap it 6 inches. That's for a subsurface water drain. Don't do that. Don't do that if you want to grab all your surface water. If you want to grab all your surface water, just do a couple inch overlap. Take your time to staple it and do a nice stitch and trim it so you don't have a heavy overlap. Look, at this is a four ounce. This is amazing. It's crazy, huh? Love this stuff. Open French drains right here. Let's move some water. So we're going to be showing you a lot in the up and coming year. Everybody's been asking a lot of questions. I can't believe how many people I've talked to this season. They call the office. You guys are driving my office manager insane, by the way. I'm usually out in the field, I'm usually talking with homeowners and designing the systems, and the boys are putting them in. And sadly, the office manager's telling you the truth when she says, I don't know. I just run the office. So I've, I've caught a bunch of you while I was in the office, and I've talked to probably a couple thousand people this past year. It's been truly amazing, the response that we're getting because of the videos we're putting up. We're trying to educate the homeowners so they know what to buy. We're also trying to educate the DIY guy who's putting in the French drain himself. 
so I promise that next year we're just going to we're going to we're going to go a layer deeper for you. Everybody's asking for more, so we're going to give you more. But you wanted the truth. You came here for the truth. You're looking at the eight ounce right here. This is geo textile non-woven eight ounce fabric. You can see that it takes a moment for it to filtrate the the water from depending on if this is a covered drain I love this stuff for commercial jobs where there's big wall material boulders and slab rock and things that are nasty and gonna cut a four ounce fabric real easy and and this eight ounce does if I'm not looking for speed if I'm not looking to, to move water as, as fast as, as I can possibly get it to go I'll use that opposed to, to the four ounce, but in so many cases, homeowners want the water gone as quick as it impacts the ground. It's expectations, you know, it's just the times we live in. So the four ounce is the 200 mile an hour, the, the, the race car of the geotextile non-woven fabrics, if you will. And the eight ounce is, it's the bad boy. It's going to last decades and it's also fantastic around sharp objects and anytime you're building big retaining walls and things like of that nature. So yeah, this up and coming year we're gonna we're gonna try to go into more detail. We're gonna show you more of the the job itself. Maybe explain a little bit more why we're doing what we're doing, how we ended up doing the design, uh, and laid it out the way we did. You know, we just started out by trying to make seriously just quick videos videos that were just a couple minutes long so that we can just give you a quick education on it and then you could move on but people want more people want more they're just calling and they're asking all kinds of questions so we're going to we're going to be providing you with a lot more information in the up and coming season um, if you like the information that that we are putting out and if you found this video helpful uh, please give us a thumbs up it does support the channel if you're looking for a drainage system in southeastern Michigan, that's where we're located and that's the area we service, give us a call. 